We're honored to um, officially dedicate this as the Neil A. Campbell uh, Learning Laboratory. On July 7th, the University of California Riverside dedicated a new facility designed to revolutionize the teaching of undergraduate science. The Neil A. Campbell Science Learning Laboratory was inspired by the memory of the late UCR alumnus Neil Campbell's success in the teaching of biology, both as a lecturer and as author of the most popular biology textbook in the world. My father was constantly awed by the world and comforted by the order and understanding he was able to uncover in the things and happenings around him. I suspect there will be a lot of awe and understanding happening in Dr. Wessler's classrooms and this would have made my dad very happy. Neil loved to learn, which is obviously another sign of a great teacher. He agreed to read exams because he wanted to know what was happening in the classroom and how he could significantly affect learning. Neil spent many years reading AP exams and sitting on various committees, developing a significant bond with us, the teacher, and a deeper understanding of our needs. He told a story in his books of discovery through stories by interviewing prominent scientists and physicians who could personalize the science in a way that telling those stories teaches it to those who are just being introduced into the field. It makes it comprehensible, but it doesn't dummy down the essential details of biological science is broadly considered. I distinctly recall spending too many class periods watching unenthused students and wondering how I could get them excited about science. I would then walk upstairs into my research lab where my graduate students and postdoctorals were literally bouncing off the wall with excitement. The disconnect between the classroom and the research lab was striking. Dean Baldwin knew of the past generosity of Rochelle Campbell and her desire for a fitting tribute to her late husband, Neil. Dean Baldwin thought that this facility would be a perfect fit. Rochelle agreed, and we all extremely grateful. The Campbell Laboratory, funded by a generous grant from Neil's wife, Rochelle, will serve as a proving ground for new pedagogy in the teaching of life sciences at UCR. I'm feeling very good. This is just a perfect way to honor Neil and his commitment to undergraduate education. And you heard a lot about that today. And uh, it will probably be repeated over and over again in many other ways in this building. But um, I think he would be very, very pleased and say, good job. <laughs> What we're really trying to do is to figure out how to expand this, to grow this, to, to make it scalable uh, to, to many much larger numbers of students. So the name, the choosing of the name of a science learning laboratory was very, uh, very specific because in this space, faculty will be doing research on how to teach how to do a better job in engaging students young, early in their career. My thoughts are as a member of the California University of California Board of Regents, I couldn't be more proud of what I've seen today. This is magnificent contribution in addition to the uh, University of California Riverside. And we were fortunate in knowing Dr. Campbell and his family. And so it was really, and we knew about his good work and to see that uh, him getting the appropriate recognition and to see what it's gonna do for students here and, uh, and across the, uh, the country and indeed the world is just, very, very, we're just so pleased and so happy to be here and be part of this. And that's why we've gathered today, is to think of science, to think of the teaching of science, to think of the generations of students that are on the cusp of being University of California students, and those yet to follow over the generations to come, who are going to benefit by the generosity and the, uh, uh, the expertise of, the, of Neil and Rochelle, and now being expressed in the laboratory of Sue Wessler. It just folks doesn't get any better than that.